Are you looking for some cute and cozy games that are all under £10? Well, I have found some amazing games that you definitely need to try. Hello, hello everyone and welcome or welcome back. So in today's video, we are looking at eight cute and cozy games that are all going to be under £10. These games are great if you are on a budget, you are looking for a bargain, or you simply just want to try a brand new game and don't want to spend a lot of money doing that. I've searched to try and find the best games that are all under the £10 mark. I will start with the most expensive game and then work our way down. And I will also let you know which platform these games are on. So say you don't have a Nintendo Switch, but you still want to play, you can see what other platforms these games are available on as well. I am also aware that other people may be watching that don't use the UK pound currency. So I'll be rounding up to the nearest pound. So you then can convert it to your currency if you want to. Or the other option is just to Google the game and see what price range it is in your area. So grab a drink, get cozy, get comfy and let's start off with the first game. The first game is called Sticky Business. Create, pack and sell your own unique sticker creations. Combine dozens of elements to create your own collection and sell them to like-minded people with different stickers and different stickers attract different customers. You can add some sparkles or hollow effects to make them even more special. Pack orders and hear more about your customer's stories every time they buy stickers. The DLC Plan With Me also not only brings you a delightful array of cozy stickers for your shop, but also infuses them with a unique theme. It centers around planning, writing, bullet journaling, and everything stationary. Plus you'll have the chance to connect with new friends like the pen pals Tim, Sanjay, or Danny the travel bloggers. There's more than a hundred new sticker elements, additional glitter effects, more candies and goodies, and 10 additional customer stories, all about planning, writing, and new beginnings. I have an update while editing this video as well. The Nintendo Switch Indie Showcase Live just happened, and Sticky Business just announced that it's being released on Nintendo Switch today, which is the 17th of April 2024, so it will be available on Nintendo Switch as well, which is so amazing. This game is fantastic if you've always dreamt of running your own sticker business shop, but also just if you love creating things in general. There are endless possibilities with creating stickers and you can be as creative as your imagination lets you. So Sticky Business is around £9, but it also has a DLC available if you want to purchase that and that's around £4. So that does take you over the £10 mark, but you don't need the DLC to be able to play this game and it is only available on Steam. Next up we have Birth. Birth is an adventure game about constructing a creature from spare bones and organs found around the city in order to quell your loneliness. Collect bones and organs in hand-drawn museums, coffee shops, alleys, flower shops, bakeries and more. Solve physics-based puzzles and interact with unique interesting characters. Find and spend hidden tokens to discover the secrets. Birth is on the creepy cute side of things but the illustration in this is beautiful and I love the story that you have to find your other half by finding all these pieces. The story is really well told and it's really relaxing to play. And this game again is around the £9 mark and it is available on Steam and on Xbox. Next up we have Haven Park. Explore a tiny and peaceful open world, meet and talk to campers, find the resources required to build cozy little campings and keep the campers happy. You will also have plenty of side quests on your journey, but there is no rush. This place is your safe haven to discover. It was inspired by games like A Short Hike and Animal Crossing, so if you're a fan of those, this game is definitely for you. 
This game is so calming and relaxing and you get to play as a cute little chicken. What's not to love about this game? And this game is available around the £7 mark and it is available on Steam, on Nintendo Switch, on GOG.com and itch.io. The next game we have is called Minami Lane. Minami Lane is a small wholesome management game set on a Japanese inspired street. Create and manage your own street, make sure everyone is happy and watch the villagers live their lives. Build homes to add villagers to your street and improve their happiness by beautifying every inch and building a variety of shops and attractions. Attract customers with everything from floral bouquets to karaoke. Once you start the day, you'll get to see each villager react to your street and offer helpful feedback on how to improve. Memorize their preferences and refine your street the following day. It's a short game, but oh my God, is it beautiful. The images and graphics are stunning. And I love the scenarios you need to do to complete each level. You get to name all of the shops and create each dish like ramen and boba and it's just an all-round fun time. Now this game is by far the cheapest game out of the collection. It is around the £5 mark but it is the smallest game out of the collection. It only has between four to five hours of gameplay but that shouldn't sway you for this game. It is beautiful and it is available only on Steam. Next up we have a couple of expensive games but they go on sale a hell of a lot so you get really good deals on them and they go below the £10 mark very often. The first game is called Spirit Fairy. Play as Stella, a fairy master to the deceased. Build a boat to explore the world, then befriend and care for spirits before finally releasing them into the afterlife. Farm, mine, fish, harvest, cook and craft your way across the mystical seas unwind for hours into cozy and relaxing gameplay. You can also play as Daffodil the Cat in a two-player cooperative play. Experience a moving emotional story filled with unforgettable moments. Spend relaxing quality time with your spirit passengers creating lasting memories and ultimately learn how to say goodbye to your cherished friends. I've loved playing this game. I haven't quite finished it yet but I'm nearly there and it talks about death but not in a hard hitting way and I love that about this game because it really helped me in a lot of ways and even after that it's just a really good wholesome game where you can just play and just relax with. Now as I said the original price is about £25 ish but it regularly goes on sale. It went on sale about eight months ago or about a month and it's on sale again now. It's got 75% off its original price on Steam at the moment so it's around the £7 mark which is fantastic and this is available on Nintendo Switch, on Steam, on Xbox, and on PlayStation. Next up, we have a game called Toem A Photo Adventure. Set off on a delightful expedition and use your photographic eye to uncover the mysteries of the magical Toem. Follow a small figure through Scandinavian inspired landscapes, encounter several characters and distant architectural environments. Take photos, listen to calm music and travel by bus. Climb the highest peak and experience the phenomenal Toem, a game which encourages you to stop and smell the flowers. Toem reminds me of the game Chicory because it is black and white, but instead of focusing on bringing color, it focuses on taking photos and giving you more of a relaxing vibe that way. And I really love this one. You can kind of take it at your own pace and enjoy it when you want to. And it's just a really fun, relaxing game. Again, this game goes on sale very frequently. The last time it went on sale, 
sale was in December and it was 50% off. Its original price is about £17-ish and at this time it is on sale at 75% off on Steam and it is now about £4-ish. This game is available on Steam, on Nintendo Switch, on Xbox, on PlayStation and on Epic Game Store. And next up we have Untitled Goose Game. It's a lovely morning in the village and you are a horrible goose. This is a slapstick stealth sandbox game where you are a goose let loose on an unsuspecting village. Make your way around town from people's back gardens to the high street, setting up pranks, stealing hats and genuinely ruining everyone's day. There is also a cooperative mode where you can enjoy Untitled Goose Game with a friend in the new two player cooperative mode. This is just a fun game to play after you've had a really stressful day or just need time to unwind and just want to run around the place and play as a menacing goose. So this game goes on sale frequently for 50% off. It was on a year ago on the Steam and PlayStation sale. Its original price was about £16 and it is now about £8-ish. It is available on Steam, on Nintendo Switch, Switch, on Xbox One, on a PlayStation 4, on Epic Games Store and itch.io. And the last game I want to mention because it is completely free and it's just come out on early access on Steam, it is called Sky Children of the Light. Children of the Light is a peaceful award-winning MMO from the creators of Journey. Explore a beautifully animated kingdom across seven realms and create enriching memories with other players in this delightful puzzle adventure game. Keep watch of the spirits of your ancestors. Some of them are stuck here and they need your help. You have the power to free them and return them to their home among the stars. Embark on quests, solve puzzles and explore the ruins of ancient civilizations. Take flight, make friends and undergo trials to defeat the darkness. Play music, attend concerts and throw parties in your in-game home. A kind, inclusive community is ready to welcome you and your loved ones. You can connect with other players through charming, beautifully animated emotes. In Sky, you are welcome and encouraged to be whoever you are. This game is so beautiful and it's free, which is amazing. They've even held in-game concerts for people where thousands of people gather in the game and real life musicians play in the game, which is amazing and it's all free. You don't have to spend any money if you don't want to. And I love that. The story behind it is so much fun and it is just really heartwarming. And I think everybody should just give this game a go and see what they think because it is free on every device. There's no harm in trying. So, as I said, this game is free to play for everyone. It does have in-game purchases though, so if you do want to spend money, you can do it that way. It came out on the 10th of April on Early Access on Steam, but it is also available on Nintendo Switch, on PlayStation, on Apple, and on Android. I love looking through budget-friendly or free games because you'll always find that one game that surprises you and you fall in love with with and for me so far it's been spirit of error i'm playing it on xbox game pass and i didn't realize how heartwarming and beautiful the story would be and it's such a joy to play and i didn't realize just how much i would fall in love with this game so those are my cute and cozy games that are all under 10 pounds let me know in the comments down below have you played any of these games before and let me know what you think about them please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe down below for more cute and cozy games as always i want to give a big shout out to my members thank you so so much for becoming one it means i can keep doing videos like this so thank you so so much if you liked this video i did a whole video on completely free games that you can go download right now so i will put that as an end card for you at the end of this video 
so you can go check that out thank you so so much for watching i hope you have an amazing rest of the day wherever you are and i will see you all in the next one bye